Hello friends scattered throughout the bookish galaxies. Welcome. I am Jessica and this is Jessica's Bookish Galaxy. This is my August 2019 TBR video. This month I'm going to be trying to read 40 books with uh, approximately five different readathons. This is a total of 90 prompts that I am attempting. <laughs> Yes, I am crazy. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> to start off, I want to mention the readathons and their hosts and co-hosts. So first is the Newt's The Magical Readathon, hosted by G at Book Gross. The Disneyathon that was that was started by Izzy at is currently reading for different Disney-based teams. And so Izzy at is currently reading. She is in charge of Aladdin team. Allie at the Nature of Pages is leading Team Tangled, Francis at Books Under Covers is leading Team Team Lion King, Divya at Celebrity's Hush is leading Team Mulan. And for that one I am Team Tangled, but I'm also trying attempting to read all of those reading prompts. Thankfully my special ability for Team Tangled is that we can read anywhere on the map, so I can read any of those prompts in any order. The third readathon that I'm trying to do is Mythathon, and that is hosted by Jesse at Bowties and Books. I didn't say book test, guys. I'm so excited. So they are celebrating their one year anniversary on BookTube with a readathon, and they have four co hosts they chose with Zodiac and God and Goddesses themed. I'm only going to say the God and Goddesses, but you can check out their announcement video. Those four teams and co hosts are Hades, and the leader is Cindy at Reads with Cindy. Oya and the, the leader is Lauren at the novel Lush. Apollo, who is led by Tom at TJ Reads the Stars. And Aphrodite, led by Brittany at Brittany the Bibliophile. I'm tempted to read all those prompts also, but I am declaring for Team Hades just because Hades and Hercules, the animated movie, was really cool. And also, I want to watch more Cindy's videos. I want to watch all of Cindy's videos. Those three bookathons are all August wide, the whole month of August. The next one is Myth Take, and it's only from August 5th through August 18th, and it is also myth based. So there are nine prompts. You can read up to three prompts for a book, so I'm only reading three books for that one. The hosts are Ashley at Frolic, a Frolic Through Fiction and Charlotte at Bookmarks and Blogging. They are adorable, and so if anyone is actually watching this, like go check out their videos. And I really like that they had a they had a Google Doc available, and so I really like referencing that because I I set up my own TBR with a very elaborate spreadsheet, and it makes me so happy. And my final one that I'm trying to do is just trying to give me a kick in the pants to get my in my bookstagram started for Jessica's Bookish Galaxy, and that is going to be a summer TBR mashup. Um, it's basically like five prompts over the week, oh, this week, <laughs> August 5th through the 11th, and that's hosted by Insta Love with Books. But to condense this a little bit, I'm just going to say the book title, the author, and why I'm excited to read it because. I may not necessarily know what the book is about, which kind of makes it more exciting for me to read it because then I get to figure out while I'm reading it. Because this is a group book, it's probably going to be a couple of them. So to start off, I'm actually going to go through my ebooks and e audiobooks. For my ebook, I have Chasing Felicity by Ginger Z, and this is inspired by um, one of the prompts for Mythathon that is weather based, and it's written by a meteorologist, which will be really cool, I think. We have Circe by Madeline Miller, and it is a more popular book that I haven't read, and so it's going to be kind of a challenge for me, I think, just because I'm not always drawn to adult fiction, especially popular. Like, it doesn't need more backing behind it, because people already like that book. Destroy All Monsters by Sam J. Miller. I think it deals with mental illness, and those always kind of mess with my mind sometimes, so it's... <sighs> Lovely War by Julie Berry, I actually already read love story told by Aphrodite to three other Greek gods and it's a World War One love story so that was that was kind of sweet and like hard at the same time and it was just like a unique way of telling the story. Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. So I'm excited for that I tried to fill as many prompts with that one. I haven't read any of that author's books yet and I'm really excited to finally like get a push out there and I probably will give that to Bookmarks and Vloggy and Charlotte. Um, she had it as her, like one of her host recs. Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina Bey Safi. Oh god, you guys, this was 
I've already read it, and so I can't, like, not gush about it. <laughs> but it's a super cute, like, young adult contemporary, essentially rom-com. The Art of Losing by Lizzie Masson it has to do with alcoholism and kind of like a coming of age story and strong sibling bond too, so I'm excited for that. The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin, and this is a group book for the Mythathon Oya team chosen by Lauren at the novel Lush. And I haven't read an N.K. Jemisin novel yet, and I really want to. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, and this is also a group book. And the Wedding Day by Jasmine Gallery. That's gonna be such a cute adult romance book, and I'm, I just, it's gonna be good. It'll be a nice like summer read. To Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Cristo. So this is a group book for Mythathon Team Aphrodite. All right, to start with my physical books that I have. There's so many. Okay, so dark and lonely. So this is a group book for two different groups, uh, both Team Hades and Team Tangled. Also, it's a Beauty, Beauty and the Beast retelling. I'm very excited for it. The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie, and so this will be a reread. He's a Native American who takes advantage of an opportunity to transfer to a school off of the res. This will be, I think, a good reread. The Binti Novella Trilogy by Ninetti Okafor, and so this is basically an adult sci-fi. They're nice and short. They've been on my TBR for a long time, and so it'll be really good to read them. Especially when I try and read 40 books, it'll be nice to have some sci-fi novels. The Divided Earth by Faith Aaron Hicks. I really liked Faith Aaron Hicks, and this is the third book, the third graphic novel in the series. The Field Guide to the North American Te Teenager by Ben Felipe. I'm just, I've been excited to read this book and haven't gotten, haven't forced myself to yet. I haven't had the opportunity, but it's about a transfer student, and then kind of like simplifies everything into, you know, the like usual things that high schoolers classify clicks into. And I think that'll be like a nice like contemporary YA coming of age and like questioning those stereotypes and like clicks. Five Midnights by Anne de Vila Cardinal. I'm excited for this because mystery, thriller, horror, ugh, and in Puerto Rico and monsters and I the author hardened my TBR tweet, so anytime authors do that it makes me excited. I like interacting with authors. Talking about interacting with authors. For Me Back to You by Natalie Perkins. I feel bad and guilty that I haven't read this book yet because I love Natalie Perkins. Also, one of the main characters, she does jujitsu and it's about sex trafficking and I feel like this is just gonna be a really important book and also, oh God, guys, look at this cover. Freshwater by Kwege Amezi. And so this was basically an adult book recommended by Jesse at Bowtieson Books. And that's why I'm really excited to read it. Also, it's a short, like, adult fiction, Genesis Begins Again by Alicia D. Williams. And this is a middle grade book. I read, like, the first chapter a while back. And I think it's going to be a little bit heartbreaking, but also beautiful. And, like, also that cover is beautiful. So I think the insides will be, like, if I'm judging a book by a cover. Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. So this is a contemporary YA romance. It's the second in the royal series, and I'm pretty sure it's enemies to love us. So this is probably going to be really cute. How It Feels to Float is about the main character who has seen her dad every day since his death when she was seven years old. And so there's ghosts in it. I'm excited about that, and I like young adult when they're processing their grief. And I think this one is going to be going to be about that a little bit. Hungry Hearts, edited by Elsie Chapman and Caroline Tongue Richmond. It's a short story collection about food. So I think it'll be amazing and that's just gonna make me really hungry probably. But that's okay. Everyone needs to eat. Also like look at all those authors on there. Like I... It's just like a bunch of my favorites. <laughs> if I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. So I'm excited to read this because I convinced my one of my book clubs uh, that to win the mock prints that we gave it. And I haven't read it yet. It's about a trans girl who transfers schools and moves in with her dad. Let Me Hear a Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson. Lyrics by Malik, Malik 16 Sharif. I'm hoping this one will be slightly happier. Also mostly just because like that cover is amazing. Like a Love Story by Abdi Nazim, Nazimin. It's essentially the author processing his own 
youth, and I appreciate that. So this book about is about during the AIDS crisis and different kinds of advocacy for the AIDS crisis. Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. So I'm pretty sure this is a book about a girl who makes a deal with a monster to like inhabit her. So I'm just excited for it. I wanted to read this for a long time. I need some fictional monsters. Operatic by Kyle McClear and Byron Eggenschweiler. Like this is gonna be a pretty graphic novel and I'm not really sure what it's about, but I had it signed by the authors and personalized, so I'm excited to finally read it. It has that new book smell. Are You Maybe by Rachel Lynn Solomon. So this one is the group book for Team Apollo, the Mythathon, Team Apollo, Tom at TJ Reads the Stars. Chose it for the group book, and so I really want to read it because of that. The Poppy War by R.F. Quang. Um, so this one is my 500-page book that I'm trying to read for two different prompts. But I'm also trying to read it in the next day to four days. Um, it's an adult fantasy and I've heard good things about it. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Paperback Dreams has just been talking this book up. I believe it's about like a podcast and an artist who does fan art for that and how they end up kind of like meeting. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young and this is basically I think like a Norse mythology based retelling. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. It's young adult fantasy and there's like a library in it and that's all I really know. Spell Slinger by Sebastian D. Castell. So this one is the forbidden book for the newts. I've never heard of it before the newts and so that's why I'm reading it and that's why I'm excited to read it. The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill is a long overdue graphic novel, children's graphic novel that I haven't read yet. It sounds like just cutesy and adorable and under Their Moon, A Catwoman Tale by Lauren Miracle, and this is a graphic novel. So this book is inspired, like I'm excited to read this because it fills a prompt uh, with moon in the title or on the cover, and I get extra points for both, right? Extra points to Hufflepuff. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. This is a young adult fantasy and I'm excited for it. Her I End and You Be Begin by Preston Norton, so this is essentially a Freaky Friday like body swap that happens between um, a boy and the girl he likes best friend. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Below I have the readathons I'm attempting, their hosts and co-hosts, and the book I, books I've mentioned for my August 2019 TBR. Thank you for joining me in my bookish galaxy. Safe travels to you on your journey through your own bookish galaxies.